Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last week we were repainting the kitchen tiles to freshen it up a bit and make it more pleasing to a potential buyer. Not everybody likes my bohemian ethnic style of things so um, we did it. So let me show you the pictures of what it looked like before. And now it looks more like this. Look at that. All white. All the sides are clear. Much nicer. And from that angle. So, looks a lot cleaner, I guess, and uh, less cluttered. And um, I'm going to show you the rest of the house and how far I've got. No judging. So the conservatory, as you can see from the before pictures, had uh, quite a lot of stuff stuffed into it all over the walls. Had a couple of bookcases in here full of books. And now, bookcases have gone. And yes, that is all my camera equipment I need to sort out that I've just put on that chair for now. But look, other than that, it's just a couple of pictures left on the wall. Some books down there that I'm keeping that I haven't read yet. So I'm gonna take some away with me and try and store some at my brother's. Now the living room. So this had stuff everywhere. My ornaments were everywhere, pictures all over the walls, photos everywhere. And now, well, most of the pictures are off the wall. Just got a couple of big ones left. All the ornaments are packed except for the big ones and all the cupboards are bare. Now when I say bare I mean I've emptied them all but because I'm selling furniture I don't have place to put most things so I'm just like having to put them on top of things for now but it's a lot better isn't it now you can see like I've still got my my bow and arrow and my sword and my broomsticks to pack. I'm going to put them all together in one to make them safe, like roll them up in a duvet or something. But it's better, isn't it? Much, much better. Um, but it's been hard work, I tell you. Now, this is something else I've been doing, let me show you. So I'm a big fan of vinyls. I know it's quite old fashioned still. Um, and so this side here are my prints ones. So yes, I'm a massive prints fan, always have been. Then my other vinyls, and then a lot of these are my dad's, which I keep for him. This was his favourite song. Um, and so what I've been doing, I've been listening to them one by one before I pack them because I'm going to miss my vinyls but my son is going to look after them for me, keep them safe. So the hallway, I had pictures all over the walls and I had fake plants here and everything and now, look at that, how clear is that? All that's left here is again two bigger pictures that I need to pack them all together to keep them safe. So my bedroom was full of cushions, ornaments, hanging things, pictures, photos, teddy bears and now the cupboards are empty and like I said it's a bit like downstairs I have to put things on top of cupboards now because I have nowhere to put anything but look that's much clearer isn't it 
So the second bedroom had the camper bedding on top of it, so it looked like a huge one, like Princess and the Pea. And now, just a normal bed. The cupboards have gone. And there's just a box down there that I need to put in the garage of pictures for my son. But all the walls are clear. Probably the most cleared room so far. And then the final bedroom was where we started actually with the decluttering of clothes. This is also my laundry room. And now everything's off the walls. The cupboards are empty. It's just the bed left. Okay, there's one corner full of clothes to go to charity. And then, yeah, it's done. One cupboard sold, one left. And yeah, I had to put my iron thing on the floor because I sold the cupboard. And let's not forget the dreaded garage. What a mess that was in, where we couldn't find anything, we couldn't even move around. And now, Everything has its place. We've got all my boxes stacked here. All my son's boxes stacked there. And then in this corner are things that are for sale. Still, or need to get rid of. And they're basically empty boxes now. They were used for car booting. And then all these boxes here belong to work so I just take them into the office but I can actually walk all the way through my garage now that's a novelty so I don't think I've done too bad it's certainly a lot clearer than it was and all my possessions are mainly packed up now. All they've been donated, all they've been sold. And there's not really that much to do. It's just some of the big furniture that's left. And I've got all the big pictures left and the big ornaments, like the long ones that I showed you, the swords and the broomsticks and my thing. Because I want to wrap them up together, give them some stability. So all the big pictures are stacked, you know, covered in between and all of that good stuff. But that shouldn't take me very long once we know what we're doing. So let's give you, well, I don't think I really have an update on the estate agents. Last time we spoke, um, I told you that they sent that bamboo surveyor around, even though I said not to. And um, I had a, well, it was just a blow, blowout in my living room with the main estate agent. Everything he says is just a lie. And every other sentence he says it different. He's like trying to put a slant on things and Oh, it's like he's always trying to give you the right answer instead of the truth. And all we want is the truth. You never phoned anyone, you never chased anyone. Oh, anyhow. So the lady that's looking after it now, because I don't think any of the others in the office want to talk to me anymore because, well, maybe they don't like me. I don't care. Just sell the house. And she did some chasing up this week. And, well... So the buyer's lawyer told her not to do any of the searches or go ahead with the legals until she was happy with all the surveys. Well, well how come the main agent didn't know this? Oh, it just drives me mad. Anyway, she was supposed to get the survey yesterday at the latest and the agent said, the one that I'm dealing with now, the same office, but she's a little bit more on the ball. Uh, she said she would chase them and let me know on Monday what's going on. Oh, that might make sense. Now, BT. Oh, gosh. So, sending in a bereavement form, I think. Yeah, and I also did send in a written um, cancellation and complaint to the complaints um, address because it's the only address on their website. And uh, so I'm thinking the bereavement one gave him, gave him a kick as well, because obviously I didn't come from the grave to fill in the form. So, and I explained that to them, you know, you just don't make it easy to get in touch with you. And the complaints people did email me back um, and uh, yeah, cancelled it. And they didn't hold me to the 30 days notice. I think it goes in five days. And there you go. 
it's quicker to just write to the complaints than it is to try and talk to them. Customer service. Anyhow, thank God for that. I'm out of that. And that's about all that's been going on, really. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with how the house is gone. And, uh, yeah, I have to just keep being optimistic that my plans will come to fruition and I will be out of here as soon as possible. Anyway, take care for now and I'll see you all soon.